3MGIS Termination Installation. Open the kit and check the parts list. Make sure all parts are included, quantity is correct, and the quality meets field installation requirement. Read an installation drawing and instruction carefully and familiarize the whole installation process before installation. Measure and remove the cable jacket, brass tape, inner jacket, lead sheath according to installation drawing. Allow additional length of cable for adjustment. Keep sufficient length of brass tape that will be wrapped onto the lead sheath for at least 60 millimeters. Cut the copper wire leaving 500 mm length. Fold the copper wire backwards and fix it temporarily to the lead sheath using PVC tape. Apply aluminum foil on the cable. Overwrap with evenly distributed heating tape. Insert temperature sensor under the heating tape and fix it using PVC tape. Then apply the second layer of aluminum foil covering the heating tape. Heat the cable at temperature of 80 degrees Celsius for 3 hours. After heating, use angular aluminum plate to keep the cable straight and let it cool down to room temperature naturally. This process may take at least 8 hours. After cooling down, remove the semi-conductive water swelling tape leaving 20 mm length. Measure and remove the excess cable. Make a mark on the primary screen according to the installation drawing. Use special peeling tools to remove the semi-conductive screen and primary insulation according to the dimensions given in the installation drawing. Make 30 mm smooth slope on the edge of semiconductive layer using glass. Abrade the insulation with sanding machine and then change to manual sanding. Ensure that the diameter is consistent at different positions on the insulation and make sure there are no cuts or defects. The semiconductive slope need to be manually abraded and polished. Remove the semi-conductive layer of the cable jacket for a distance of 200 mm to 300 mm. Fix the brass tape onto the lead sheath using constant fourth springs. Make a mark on the semi-conductive layer from the edge to bottom for a distance of 65 mm. After cable preparation, wrap the cable with plastic film for protection. Apply water blocking tape, semiconductive tape, copper mesh, and PVC tape on the semiconductive layer and a lead sheath according to the installation drawing.
Park heat shrink tube, funnel, leakage current collector ring, and semiconductive tube onto the cable in the right sequence. Clean the cable and the stress cone using approved cleaner. Apply silicone grease on the insulation and the bore of the stress cone. Slide the stress cone onto the cable and stop at the mark. Remove the excess grease and clean the cable and stress cone. Clean the epoxy insulator and connection bolt. Insert the bolt through epoxy insulator and place O-ring on the top of the insulator. The O-rings should be daubed with grease. Install the ceiling cover and fix it with lock nut. Slide the metal pressure ring onto the cable. Install the plug-in assembly using special pushing tools. Ensure it is installed onto the conductor tightly. The distance to the top of the pressure ring should be equal or slightly more than 13 millimeters. Clean the inside of the epoxy insulator and the surface of stress cone. Apply grease on both sides. The epoxy insulator with connection bolt will be installed on the GIS equipment and fixed with flange. After that, the GIS termination will be ready to plug in. Install the connection bolt supporter and shielding cap. Fix them with correct nuts. Adjust the length of the spring support assembly according to environment temperature as given in the installation drawing. Fix adjustable screw. Push on the funnel and support the spring assembly. Fix the funnel to the epoxy insulator with nuts. Solder at the end of the funnel. Wrap sealing tape and armor cast tape from the funnel to the cable jacket. Shrink the heat shrink tube to cover all of them. Connect the grounding cable. GIS termination has been completed. 